What's up? It's your boy Vandergram. You watching? This is Fifty. What's up? This is Fifty. I'm here with Evander Graham in the building. Can I touch uh, your hair? Yeah. Touch your hair. It was raining no, today. Like get, get a good one, like get it. Right get, up get in here. Wait, so do you just let this, like this do its thing? Is that yeah. what? So it just, it just has like a minor tone, like on. Like and you just let it. Yeah, I just let it go. How um, often do you watch? Like, what's your what's your maintenance like? Well, my maintenance is virtually nothing. Okay. So it just, you know, I just wake up and it's like, yo, what's up? And I'm like, what's up? And we just keep going. Like, Our girls the like they just lay up and they're just like. They try and touch my hair, but I'd be like, yo. I don't think you want to touch this. Are you like, no, you were like, don't no. touch my hair, Negro? No, I let you touch it. It's like, we're friends. We're cool. Okay, okay. But ladies, don't just walk up and think you're going to be able to do what I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Swear. Evander, how old are you? I just turned 20. You just turned 20? Yeah. Okay, I feel like an ancient artifact right now sitting next no. to you, but it's it's cool. It's yeah, I'm cool. pretty young, but it's cool though. From El Paso, Texas? Yeah, El Paso, Texas. Texas, Texas. Texas, all right, Texas boy. Right now, um, you're on tour with you, or you were on group tour with Lil Yachty and um, Gucci Mane, correct? Yeah, I just I just finished the tour with, with Yachty, and then the tour before that was with Gucci Mane. Okay, yeah, it was and great. It was great. Tell yeah. me about some of your tour experiences. Like well, the, the, Gucci, the Gucci Mane crowd was more like a little older. Okay, but like they was fucking with me though. Like you know, like like some states, like they like it, it was a great tour. That was an amazing tour. Like how just the crowd reacted, and then also. The fact that you know you're able to watch like one of the most experienced artists like how they move right like how to act in certain things like i'd like be around them like and you got like, sober gucci which was like yeah like like the ex super experienced gucci like him right. learning from his mistakes gucci like so like i'm watching him and his like prime really like his prime form like his super saiyan like right last, like <laughs> fucking <laughs> form you know what i mean so right yeah. so like i'm able to watch him and just like learn from him like how to be like a professional artist, like how to carry yourself in different cities and whatnot. Right. That that was like the biggest like learning thing that I got from him. And then, well, like the Yachty tour, that was the most fun I've ever had like on any tour. Cause, <laughs> like we're all just like the same age, like just a bunch of kids, like no one's telling us what to do. Right. Like, we're just going like literally doing what we want to do like every night. Like someone's passing out condoms though, right? Going crazy, literally on the rider. <laughs> like the on the rider, it's like. Just insane, but condoms and Plan B. Yeah, um, nah, no Plan B, cause <laughs> no, I'm out of that shit. You ain't get my Instagram. You don't know who the fuck I am. I'm out. You ain't get me. No, but, nah, but um, damn. Did you collect that phones? That was dumb, D. That was. I'm did, sorry. Did that you was collect? So wait, did <laughs> like, you collect phones before girl? Nah, that's nah. I'd be like, I'd be chill. I'd be more focused on the, on the music aspect of it. Like you know, yeah. You 20 and it's raining <laughs> ass on you. Like, are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Tour's great. Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Twitter's great, but um, but now that one was the most fun, and like the crowd, it's like that's really my crowd. You know what I mean? Like right. just high energy, like ready, like to mosh, like just ready to just just have a good time, rather than you know what I mean? Like that that was just the most fun I've ever had on any tour. Like every day was just fun, nonstop fun. Okay, you're working on a project right now that's gonna be coming out soon, right? Yeah, super soon. It's like I love it because it's like I feel like. It has like some jams on it where it's like you play it to the club, like when you're about to go to the club. But then I also got like the pregame, right? Yeah, like the pregame. But then I also got them jams where it's like coming home from like the club, like by yourself, or like you just took a girl home, like right. You know, just like you a got lot your of, hand on a thigh, yeah, riding. Like, yeah, like Henny Dick vibes, like shit like that. <laughs> like, but um, but now, nah, but really, like it's a lot of stories from like you know coming from like a small town and then like kind of just like. Cause I've, Cause I've never like really um, been outside of El Paso. Rather like after like before this music stuff. Right. You know what I mean. So like once like all this music stuff started popping off, like just traveling, like experiencing, like really like growing. You know what I mean. So it's a lot of stories about that. Like a, a, like on the R and B aspect, but like the turn up aspect is just like a new like level of energy. Like I feel like cause I'm black and Mexican. Like okay. I speak full Spanish. Like my mom's Mexican. Like I hear like an undertone. I was trying to like yeah see. a little bit. Everyone yeah. said I got a little, little something. But um but yeah like I used to go like to Hermosillo like Sonora like every like summer like when I was like in middle school and like okay. high school and stuff. But like I kind I feel like I kind of started like not start but I feel like I'm I'm about to like bridge the gap between like you know like just the Mexican like aspect and like the like the black aspect of me like literally like me right like black you're and figuring Mexican. it all out right now right yeah like this put, is the like, age yeah like putting it all together like and i feel like it's like an incredible new sound that 
that I think I think everybody's gonna fuck with. Like I think it's right there in the middle where it's like all my Mexican fans can feel like like my Hispanic Mexican fans can feel like, yo, like this is dope, like he's putting on for the culture. But it's also like, you know what I mean? Like I'm still in touch with like like my black like roots to like still like all my like African fans, my black fans to like really be like, you know what? I fuck with this shit still. Like he's still like, you know what I mean? So it's right. like right down the middle. Right. So, so I feel we like, get yeah. some purely Spanish songs. Nah, like, I don't have anything, like, purely Spanish, but I got, like, right there down the middle where it's, like, you know, like, you might not know what I'm saying at some points, but you're, you're gonna fuck with it still. Like, you're still gonna bop to I mean, spot. hey, that Bodak Yellow Latina mix, I be in there, like, six yeah. months, like, Dumb I don't five. know. Yeah, <laughs> so. I mean, super fun. Like, like, the Despacito song, like, people don't know, like, a lot of people, like, that are from, like, America, like, they don't really know, they don't know it, like, they'll be, like, they'll just say Despacito, they'll be like, what does that mean? You know, I, it's kind of like that, like, in that, that type of, type what of What does Despacito mean? Like, slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, so, like, this. Uh, so, it's, like, basically, like, dancing slow, like. Oh, that, that's you just schooled me, and I'm pretty sure a bunch of y'all, okay? Because y'all Spanish teachers spelled y'all just, spelled you just Swear. like they spelled me. Swear. Just say. So, how old were you when you started, like, music? Uh, Well, I've always, like, loved music, you know? Like, I've always, like, I've always, like, started. <laughs> but uh, I've always, like study music like when I was like a baby like I have a bunch of pictures like when I was a baby like my dad would uh put me like in like the like you remember how Usher had like the knitted beanie yeah like I have a bunch of pictures like in like those type of things <laughs> like like my mom like always playing like Bruno Omar, like Kurt Franklin in the car like listening to like you know like my first like albums like that I ever bought was like Waka Flocka like really like, I, yeah that's like like Flocka Belly okay like I think that's like reason why like I'm so into like the energy and whatnot because he's kind of like I don't want to say he's like the first person to really put energy but like that was the first person I saw who was just like insane energy like just I, lit energy yo I get you I, the first time I ever I wasn't really a fan until I watched him perform it's so like to this day he's to this day he's done for like when, when he had DM me like reached out to me like he died out. yeah freaked out like like him like buying like the Carter two like I mean the Carter three like just listening to that and then just, you know, just growing up and stuff. But I really started like making music, like making, making music like last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, like, so you, but I've always been like, you know, like when you listen to something for so long, but you're not really doing it. Like you can like listen to it and just watch somebody just do it over and over and over and just break it down, break it down. Like, it'll just come natural to you. Like really I was just a student of the game before I really just came in it okay. and I'm still a student of the game. Like. You know, like I take in like everything that everybody tells me, like not like haters and shit, but like people like around me, like like the OGs that be around me, like they're just like. So I mean, good. everybody's an OG at this point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like or like the the people who've done it before me, like who've been in it before me. Right. Basically, like I just been like learning. Just You're so, a sponge so, right so, now. Yeah, the sponge, SpongeBob, SpongeBob vibes. <laughs> I like that. I need that on a T-shirt. Yeah. All right, so the rec right now is like yeah. you got. A crazy amount of spends on Spotify super, and everything with that, super right? Five, like two million streams though. Oh, Jesus, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. It's dope. So the project the new project is dropping out when and what's it gonna be called? It's coming out super duper soon. I don't I only got a name for it. I'm like playing around with names, but the music is insane. Okay. The music is insane. Just I'm super passionate about it. I'm extremely excited. Like I can tell. So yeah, like, bro, I swear I've been working on it for like two years down there. Like really? or like a year. Like ever since ever since I met like my manager and like everybody, like the first day I flew to Atlanta was like the first day. How I, did your manager find you? Damn, it's a crazy it's a it's a super crazy story. So I was already kinda like buzzing in my city, right? Okay. Like people kinda like, okay, I hear him, like I'm fucking with him, blah blah blah. Cause really like I'm like the first like rapper ever, like uh -huh. ever to ever come out of my city, like ever, right. ever, ever. So, you know, and a lot of people will be like, yo, the re the way I got on is because my uncle is like an A&R here, or like my brother does beats for this person, shit like that. But I didn't know anybody, like I didn't know anything. So one day- But that, I, those things are factual? Your uncle is an A&R? No, 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 okay. no, like, no, like I'm saying like, like uh, some people, like a lot of people got on that way, like, okay. like, um, it's just like when they all assume that I had sex with 50 Cent to get here. Get you. Whoa, got you. crazy. Keep I didn't going. even know that. Okay, so next thing. <laughs> so, fucking, so, the, so, like, yeah, like, shit like that, you know what I right. mean? But, so, the, the way that happened with me was, like, I had sent out over 3,000 emails one day. Like, like me and my friends sent out, like, 3,000 emails, and, like, nobody replied, like, the only thing people replied were, like, take me out your email list, <laughs> like, don't, like, don't email me again. So, I was, like, dumb discouraged, right? So, right. like, two nights go by. 
And I'm laying in my room like three in the morning, and then like this rapper, uh, Rishi Kid, like okay. you know about him, like Rishi Kid, he had posted, he had posted Texas number for features. So I had sent sent him a video of like one of my shows, and I just put the next biggest thing. That's all I put. Like that's it. And then like three days later, like I'm driving in my, in my car. And at the time, like I was driving in a car that had no aux cord. Like you couldn't even plug up Bluetooth, nothing like that. So like we would play music off my phone. So it was me, and my boy Mikey, and um. We were driving and whatnot, and uh, we were playing music off my phone. Like we put it like right here, like on the, the, the what's that thing called? The dash or on the sun. Right. The sun, yeah, the sun. So like we, I put it right there, and I just put it like that. Right. And it just stick, and then uh, we just drive around, blah, blah blah, and then my phone started ringing, and my friend grabbed it, and he's like, "Yo, whose number is this?" I was like, "I don't know." Like, don't answer. It's probably a telemarketer. Right. But he still <laughs> answers it anyways. Ah. And I was like, "Bro, give my phone. Like, you tripping?" Like, so I answered. I'm like, "Hello." And, he, and then someone goes, hello? And I thought it was my dad. Okay. My dad, my dad lives in Hawaii and shit. Because he's in the military. Okay. Yo. Okay, so so um, I asked, I was like, hello? And he's like, I, he was like, hello? I was like, dad. And he's like, no. He's like, no, this Rich the Kid road manager. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh. And I start pretending like I'm my own manager. Oh. I was like, bro, the kid's going crazy. He's selling out shows. <laughs> he's doing this. Bro, that nigga dumb piped up. Bro, blah, 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 blah. And then he's like, He's like, let me speak to him. And I was like, uh, call me tonight. I got you, blah, blah, blah. He called me back the next night. He's like, let me speak to him. I was like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. That was Niggas been me the whole time. Like, <laughs> it's been me the whole time. And he's like, I love you, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> so I was too official. Then too official ended up taking my project to, to book uh, out of Atlanta. And we just been working ever since, like just going crazy, knocking down doors, like not taking no for an answer, just going crazy. That is an awesome freaking story. Don't fall, right? Oh, but I'm looking forward to hearing your project. I think that story is absolutely dope. I'm so glad we got to hear it. You ain't tell nobody else, did you? No, I'm just nah, playing. Nah, okay. not just playing. It's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the project whenever you name it um, and whenever it comes out. It's gonna be dope. I'm excited. But what else? Are you working on anything else you want to let the people know about? Well, I can tell you like some features that are on it. Like I got. I got my boy, I got Yachty on it. Of course. I got my boy uh, Offset on it. Of course. Yeah, like me and Offset got a crazy record. I think that was gonna change the world. Really? Straight up. I think it's gonna change the world. Is it is. true that he goes in the booth and just like freestyles? Boy, what? He goes in there like this, like, like he closed the door and he'll come right back out. Seriously? I swear, dumb fast. Really? It made me feel like shit. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know what I suck? I, was, I felt like that, but. You still with your pen not, and paper, like. Not, but not, 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 I don't do that. But uh, like. Wait, what like, do you mean you don't do that? Like, it kind of like the same process, but he just does it way faster. Right. Like, he'll just go in there and just like, like, he'll hear it and he'll just go. That's and, and I'll do the same thing, but like, a little slower. Okay. A lot slower compared to him. Thank you for stopping by. You are been a breath of fresh air. And I'm, I'm going to need to know what coconut oil you're using, though, because I know it's something. No, it's, I'm saying it's no coconut oil. It's just... It's just the black and Mexican like, and me just going crazy like, no, it's my shit. No, it's my <laughs> shit. No, it's my shit. Like, nah. Like, niggas is just fighting for the shit. They just turn it to this. For the right, they fighting for your hair gray texture. Either you a 3A or a 4C. I swear, I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Well, I, my naturalistas do. They, they got oh, okay. it. They got it. Damn, All right. Wow. Well, thank you for joining us. This is 50. We out. Jeez.